What's up YouTube? It's Earl from the Bud Widener Golf YouTube channel. And today I thought I'd take you through what's in the bag of what I've been playing for the 2022 season. So without further ado, let's get to it. So first, let's start off with the putter. For a putter, I play the TaylorMade Spider Tour Black Putter with a single sight line. I really like this putter. I feel it gives me just good confidence over the ball. Helps me with alignment. Grip is a Super Stroke .1, I believe, pistol grip. It's getting a little worn out, but been very trusty over the past few years. Don't see myself changing out of this putter anytime soon. Just, it has a very good look over it. Now, let's get on to the wedges. For wedges, I play the TaylorMade Millgrind 2 wedges. I really like these wedges. They have a pretty good look over the ball. They're not perfect. I've considered looking into some newer wedges, but for now, these are doing me just fine. They have the Dynamic Gold S200 grips in them with Golf Pride MCC Plus 4 mid-sized grips. Let's see if we get the folks. There we go. And reason for mid-sized, I have a bigger hand, so this just kind of helps fit in my hands a little better. And I play the these in the 52, 56, and 60. Now on to my irons. For irons, I play the Shrixon ZX5 irons from pitching wedge to four iron. They have the, I oh, can't remember what these have, the KBS Tour 130X. I do believe they are soft stepped, but still they, they are a pretty darn stiff iron. And I do believe they're a half inch long with standard lie and loft. Now, the half inch came with these. I got these pre-owned, but the, it has seemed to help me a lot. I've considered going with a half inch longer in my wedges as well, because I feel like I have to bend over a lot. These just help me keep a better posture. And with these, I also have the Golf Pride MCC Plus 4 mid-size grips as well. And I re-grip all my own stuff except for that putter, just because I, I enjoy doing it. Yeah, these have been a very good iron. Maybe a little too hot. I have higher speeds. If some of you don't know, I'm a long driver by profession. But the x flex has seemed to do a lot. They might spin up a little bit too much. I've considered looking at the LA Golf stuff. I've heard that's really good for people of higher speeds to help me drop some spin a little bit. But yeah, I love these irons. Shrixon makes a beautiful looking iron. Even though they are a semi-game improvement iron, they, are, they really don't look like it, and it's a very nice thing. Now we'll go on to a utility club, which you see has a nice boxing glove head, glove head cover in case you need to hit those punchy stingers. But yeah, for this I have a Titleist U505 2-iron with the Hazardous RDX Smoke Black 6.5. And that might be a little soft. I tend to spin this thing up a lot. But yeah, it's it's good off the fairway. It's great off the tee, very workable. You can hit some fades with it, some draws. And yeah, I really like this club. Again, this also has the MCC Plus 4 mid-sized in the blue. Blue and a couple of them, orange in the other. Just kind of makes the bag a little more colorful. And yeah, I really like this club. I had also to go along with it a U505 one iron, but if some of you have seen my Instagram, and I might have posted it on YouTube, I snapped the head of it off hitting some shots, and Titleist is working on replacing that at the moment, but from the, for now, this is all I have, which isn't too bad. I could get this 280-ish, maybe sometimes creeping up at 300, which is plenty, and yeah, the one downside of it, it does get a little high in the air, so... Let you guys get a little better look at that. And yeah, really like this club. It doesn't look too big when you put it down. I was never super I'm never super comfortable looking down at a hybrid style. And yeah, when you can see if you look down it, it doesn't look too fat, which I really like. Now on to the driver. If some of you are wondering, I don't actually have a three wood. I have blown up many three woods, so I've just kind of stopped using them. 
And I currently don't have a play driver. All I have is my long drive equipment, which when I end up getting a driver, it'll probably end up being a long drive head. But yeah, for the heads I play, they're Callaway Epic Speed LD heads, LD standing for long drive. They are at 5.0. And I'll play that, I'll mess around with the last one I'm competing. And this one has a Kinetics Velocity LD20 shaft, which is probably equivalent to somewhere between stiff and regular. With this, I have different grips in my long drive stuff. This is the Golf Pride Tour Wrap midsize. Again, midsize just fits in my hand a little better. The, I really, the thing I really like about these grips is that even when they're a little wet, they stay in your hands really nice. And some of you are wondering what the sticker is on there. That's, that's a sticker to let you know at a long drive event that it's a legal club. They check all your equipment before you go in to make sure you're not using anything illegal. And yeah, there's one of my drivers. I have about three different driver shafts that I bounce back and forth with. And I have two of them here. The other one, again, Callaway Epic Speed Head Long Drive. But this was a Patterson Kinetics Velocity D10. Now, the D10 is incredibly whippy. It's probably equivalent to more of a senior flex but that's just for it helps you get a lot more whip when you're coming at it you can also go a lot harder at it in practice with the heavier shafts you tend to get tired out a lot quicker and yeah i really like the look of these heads it's incredibly durable and again another sticker from a long drive event and the same here with the tour wrap grip midsize I really like these drivers. They hold up well. They sound pretty good. I'm not totally sure what the difference is between the long drive Callaway Epic Speed and the regular Epic Speed. I think it has something to do with the construction. It's definitely reinforced inside, but never had a problem with any of these heads. They're great. Now, all the clubs are out of the way. So let's go take a look at what bag I use. So for a bag, I play the Agio 14-way stand bag. I really like this bag. It's been highly durable. I really like the fact that it's a 14-way divider. It just tends to get a little... Without the 14-way, I just tend to have a hard time getting the clubs in there. And I believe this is their mustard orange. I can't remember quite what the name of it is. Got a nice couple pockets here. I've got my tees and balls stored in there. You can throw your phone in here if you're playing. A little rain jacket and some extra tees in there. Overall, really nice bag. And for a rangefinder, I use the Bushnell Golf. I think it's their V5 rangefinder. Really nice. It's without the um, what's it called? The I'm trying to blank. What the the slope? It has no slope on it. I just didn't want, when I played high school golf. I didn't want one with slope because I didn't want anyone accusing me of using slope in high school matches. And for a little launch monitor, I have a Rapsodo. Again, really nice. Just a, and this is just my cleaning towel. Callaway Golf it needs to be cleaned. And yeah, other than that, that's my bag. Well, that's the end of the what's in the bag. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please consider hitting like and subscribing to my YouTube channel. I'm on the way to 100 subscribers, and I thank everyone who's been there with me along the way. Have any questions? Put them in my comments. And I hope you guys have a great day. See you next time.